In this hopefully quick video, I'm going to be showing you how to add captions to your video using Final Cut Pro. This is important not only for foreign language videos like in the upcoming example that I'm going to show you, but also for social media videos. There are certain platforms like Instagram and TikTok that don't allow you to add your own captions as a separate file, so therefore you have to burn in your captions. So I'm going to show you how to do that and also how to style your captions to change the font size and the colors because that is strangely very difficult to do in Final Cut. So here's my sample footage uploaded into Final Cut. This is an interview with a Japanese speaking chef, so we have to add English subtitles so that people can understand what he's saying. So this is the raw audio, but I went ahead and added some enhancements and also added the limiter as an effect. I have a separate video talking about why I add the limiter and exactly how to do that, so check that link out in the description below if you're curious. So adding captions is actually quite simple in Final Cut. All you have to do is click on your timeline and go to option C. Doing that adds this little box here and you can start typing in your caption. Once your caption is entered, you can drag it. You might want to zoom in a bit. You can drag it and move it around. And when you're ready to add another one, you just go to option C again and add your other captions. If your captions overlap like this, then you'll notice that they turn red. And so the easiest way to get rid of that is just to drag it out so that they're not overlapping. So in this case, because it's a Japanese language video and I don't speak Japanese, I had to work with a translator to get the captions correct. And so there's a couple ways you can do that. The easiest way and free way is probably to use a Google Doc and just make sure that your timestamps match the caption translation. But what I like to do is use Vimeo. This is not sponsored by the way, I just love Vimeo mainly for this feature. So with Vimeo, when you upload your video, it also includes review tools. And so with review tools, you can send the video in its uploaded form to your translator or your client. And then if they want to add any notes or a translation in this case, they can use those review tools to click on the video and add their notes or translation. And I think this is a lot easier than using a Google Doc, mainly because you can go back and you can make sure that your timestamps align with the point in the video. And it's just a lot easier for communication. So the very first thing you want to do before you start adding your captions is just make sure that the length of your video that you're going to be captioning matches the one that is in Vimeo here. But it's really important to make sure that your time codes match up, otherwise all of these notes here that are really based on time are gonna to be totally off. So as an example, but we want this part here. So I make noodles by hand myself at the 20 second mark. So we're gonna go over to the 20 second mark, just hover the cursor over there, copy and paste the translation. So luckily this is a fairly short interview. So we'll go ahead and add our captions. So at this point, you have to decide if you want closed captions or open captions. Closed captions are like when you're watching a movie or a TV show on your TV and you have the option to turn the captions on or off. And that's opposed to open captions or burned in captions that are there and you don't have a choice. They're just automatically going to be there. You can't turn them on or off. If you want to go the closed caption route, then at this point, you're pretty much done. All you have to do is go over to, you know, share, share your master file or compress your video, just export it. And then also make sure to export your captions as a separate file. Then you go over to your video uploading platform of choice. For me, that's usually YouTube. And then you upload both your videos and your subtitles or your captions separately. The catch is not all online platforms allow you to add your own caption files separately like that. So in cases like that, like on Instagram or TikTok, and you want captions, then you have to burn your captions in to make sure that they're going to be there. So if you're going to go the burned in or open caption route, then go over to share master file and then go over to roles and captions. And here it says burn in captions. Go ahead and select English ITT and say, okay. And then go ahead and export that video. So here's the result. 
These are the burned in or open captions that we generated by using the built-in feature in Final Cut. And unfortunately, you cannot style these captions. Once they're in here, you can do a little bit of styling. You can do, you know, color, some formatting. But the big one that I find is that the size is usually a little too small. So if you want to change the size, then you definitely have to go through this extra step. We actually have to download a separate program called X Title Importer. So this program is totally free. You don't have to pay for it, but it is supported by donations. So if you find it helpful, consider donating to the guy who made it because this is a really helpful program that he made. So now we have Xtitle import installed. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. And it's really, really simple. Once you open it up, you'll just see this pop-up box here. And there's a few settings that you may wanna change frame rate make sure that the frame rate you select matches that of your video in this case it's 24 frames per second and then frame size we're shooting in 4k so we're going to want this one right here and then for title safe i'm using base 80 percent 90 percent this is basically telling the captions where they can go and the parameters because you see here you can even select the vertical media or square media depending on the dimensions of your video the other thing I'll do is go down to this caption subtitle type area, and this is where you can choose the font. Let's be different and go with Garamund. Then also change the size. So for me, I like my size to be around 61. Opacity, 80 is great. Padding, 20 is fine. So these features you might have to experiment with to figure out what values are gonna be best for you, but this works really well for me. So at this point, go back to Final Cut, go into your project, and then go to Export Captions. Let's say Export. Then go back to X Title Import, Import Source File. Then you want to import that exact file that you just exported. Then you'll see here that all of your captions are lining up in this pop-up box here, and then. What I like to do is just highlight them all. And then you have a few extra features here. You can choose your alignment. You can choose some colors. Let's go with black and pink. And then when you're done selecting these extra settings, go down to save, then go back into Final Cut, go to file, import, XML, and then import that file that we just exported. It's gonna import it as an event here, so just go over to that event. Unfortunately, it won't align exactly with your project. There might be a setting to make that happen, but for now, this totally works fine. Go over and just highlight your new captions, which have now been converted into titles, and then just copy, go back to your original project, line it up with the time codes, and then just paste. If that's off a little bit, just highlight and drag them over until they're aligned. And then now you can verify that your new captions are matching those of the original captions here. So what this is basically doing is converting the captions that you generated within Final Cut and making them into titles. Because titles, you can go through, you can change the font again, you can add italics or bold, you can change the size, the alignment, sizing, you can add all kinds of extra features if you would like. So at this point, you can go through and make any other font adjustments to your captions, or if you're ready to go, you can just go ahead and share your file. And the really nice thing is these are no longer considered captions in Final Cut's world. These are now titles. So you don't have to burn in the captions. In fact, it's not even an option anymore. So you just go over to next and just export say revision two and there we have it here is our new video with our styled captions and it's ready to go so 
So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or advice for other videos to make. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.